Yokohama is a popular and stylish port city. Here you can discover about Yokohama's history when it was a thriving port city and also see the latest fashions. People love the views in Yokohama, so they go there in droves. There are many ways to enjoy the scenery, so you'll have plenty to do while taking in its beauty. We've put together a list of the top 10 best places to visit in Yokohama. Check them out and put them on your list when you go to Yokohama. Let's get started. Number 10. Nagishi Forest Park Nagishi Forest Park is one of Yokohama's best-kept secrets. It is called Nagishi Shinrin Koen in Japanese, and it is one of Yokohama's biggest parks at 1,800 square meters, or 19,375 square feet. Surprisingly, the park was built as a racing track when it first opened in 1867. It was the site of Japan's first horse races in the Western style. After World War II, it was turned into a golf course. In 1977, it became Nagishi Forest Park. It is full of historic and well-known places, like the grandstands on the west side of the park. On clear days, you can even see Mount Fuji and the Yokohama Landmark Tower. Number 9. Curran Brewery Yokohama Factory Curran Yokohama Beer Village, Japan's first major commercial brewery, is in Yokohama. The Curran Beer Factory is a very interesting place where people can learn about the history and culture of beer in Yokohama and how it is made. Even though the tour is in Japanese, an English handout helps a lot to follow along. At the end of the tour, drink three glasses of freshly brewed beer and eat a tasty snack to boost your courage. Number 8. Sankine Garden The word Sankai means to pray, and the elegant and peaceful beauty of the Sankine Garden might make you want to pray too. The huge traditional Japanese garden of 175,000 square meters was first opened to the public in 1906. It used to be the home of a rich Japanese silk merchant who also designed the garden himself. There are 17 historic buildings in this green space. They were moved from places like Kamakuru and Kyoto and put back together here. It is home to the oldest wooden pagoda in Kanto. It was built around the middle of the 15th century. The guest house, which was built in 1603, and the Shinsoro are two other buildings or tea rooms. Walk through the garden's winding paths and look at the beautiful architecture and setting, which seem to be from a different time. There are beautiful streams and ponds all over the area, making it a great place to spend a day in Yokohama. Number 7. Yokohama Red Brick Warehouse 2 the Yokohama Red Brick Warehouse is a historic building that was once used as a customs building in the city. Its official name is the Newport Pier Tax Keeping Warehouse. In Japanese, the building is called Yokohama Akaringa and is made up of two warehouses, Warehouse 1 and Warehouse 2. The second building was built in 1911 and is now a restaurant arcade and a shopping mall with many restaurants and shops. Even better, the building has a balcony from which you can get a great view of the Yokohama Harbor. Plus, there are beautiful views of the ocean from this place. Number 6. Yokohama Landmark Tower Minatomarai's Yokohama Landmark Tower is Japan's second tallest building and fourth tallest overall. Again, Minatomarai, the premium five-star hotel on floors 43 to 70 of the 296-meter tower, is the highest point of the skyscraper. The lowest 48 stories have several offices, restaurants, and shops. The building's most spectacular feature is the Sky Garden Observatory on the 69th floor, which offers 360-degree city views. Mount Fuji may be visible on clear days. When the tower opened, its elevators were the fastest in Japan, taking passengers to any of these heights in under 40 seconds. Number 5. Nippenmaru Memorial Park the magnificent Nippenmaru is a four-masted sail training ship created to train cadets and permanently anchored in the Yokohama Harbor. It is housed in the waterfront of Minatomarai, which has been described as having a futuristic appearance. The full-size Nippenmaru was built in 1930 and boasts a rich nautical history that spans over 150 years. It is approximately as long as a football field and nearly as tall as a three-story building. Take a tour of the deck as well as the interiors of the magnificent vessel. You will get to view the apartments and where the captain and other crew members lived. It is highly recommended that you pay a visit to the Yokohama Port Museum, which is located right next door and offers interactive exhibits that explore the seafaring and nautical history of Yokohama. Number 4. Yokohama Cosmo World Cosmo World, a cool and exciting amusement park, is in Yokohama. 
This is good news for people who like to take risks. The park is in the Minato Marai Complex, which is right on Tokyo Bay. The impressive jaw-dropping Ferris wheel in the middle is the biggest draw. The 112.5 meter tall or 369 foot tall Ferris wheel is one of the biggest in the world, and it can hold a whopping 480 people. At night, the lights that light it up make it feel like a psychedelic experience. Also, the park is known for its thrilling roller coasters, some of which seem to drop into the water. A ride on a log raft is a great way to relax after all the other rides. At the many food stands, you can eat tasty food to end your day. Number 3. Yokohama Cup Noodles Museum In Yokohama, in addition to a museum that is devoted to ramen, there is also a museum that is devoted to cup noodles, which have been a lifesaver for millions upon millions of students. At the Kuki and Interactive Cup Noodles Museum, visitors are transported back in time and given the opportunity to create their own one-of-a-kind ramen blend by combining a variety of different ingredients and toppings at the Chicken Ramen Factory. There are even entertaining exhibitions that provide visitors with a glimpse inside the journey of the late Momofuku Ando, the inventor of cup ramen, including his ingenious innovation known as space ramen. Number 2. Osenbashi Pier Senbashi Pier is the oldest pier in Yokohama. It was built in the last 10 years of the 19th century. The pier is well known for being the place where big cruise ships like the QE2 set sail, or the Queen Elizabeth II. The pier is one of the best places in the city to see the Jack, Queen, and King Yokohama Towers. Even people who can't walk or use wheelchairs can get on the pier because it has elevators, ramps, and no stairs. The pier has an event plaza and a rooftop. With its green grass lawns and wooden decks, the rooftop plaza is a great place to watch ships dock at the pier. On days when the sky is clear, you can even see Mount Fuji far away. All year long, there's entertainment in the event plaza. Number 1. Yokohama Chinatown Chinatown in Yokohama is not only the largest in Japan, but also one of the largest in the world. Also, it is as clean as a pin because it is in Japan. The neighborhood has been around for more than 150 years, and it has many temples, shops, and street stalls, as well as more than 500 all-you-can-eat restaurants. You can buy everything from clothes and food to Japanese handicrafts. Also, you should go to Chinatown when you're hungry because you won't be able to resist the delicious smells of food like gepai or mooncakes, and nikuman or rice balls or meat buns. Also, go to the Kand Bio Temple in the middle of Chinatown was built in 1873 and is a place of worship for business and prosperity. If you enjoyed this video, let us know which of these places is your favorite in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button. We will be back soon with another video. If you have a place you've been dying to see a video on, leave it in the comments and we might work it into a future video.